Hey everybody, welcome to Saving Green's Homestead. My name is Keisha, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. I brought you guys out here today because there's so many things that I want to show you. It's amazing how much things can change in one week. First, I want to tell you guys and show you this is what's left of my plant sale that I just recently did. I think it's I started the sale April 20th, which was last Saturday, and today is Wednesday. And I went from all those trays that you guys saw to this little bit now. <laughs> and so the sale is not bad, not bad at all. And there are a few of you who bought some tomatoes from me, and I appreciate your support and um, that you chose me to buy tomato plants from. Just a reminder, when you plant them, plant them deep. So plant where the dirt comes up to all the way up here on the plants. Um, that just helps you to have better root growth up the stem. So anyways, you guys, let me show you some more things that I'm excited to uh, update you on. Would you get a look at this? I know, it looks like a tree, right? But it's my ornamental plum, and it has fruit hanging on it. Yeah, it's always windy out here. <laughs> and today is no exception. So you can see the fruit dangling up there. <laughs> this thing is full of fruit. They're everywhere. And that's the first time it's done that since we bought this tree. So I'm pretty amazed. I'm pretty amazed by it. I don't know what those fruits are gonna taste like, but I am gonna try them. I was told that they'll probably be a little sour, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll taste it on camera. <laughs> but this thing is loaded with all these little cherry-like fruits hanging off of it. Also, look at the potatoes. Look at how much they've grown. Just in the last week, they're full and big. And then, get this. Finally, a purple one popped out. <laughs> I was beginning to worry about that because nothing was happening. There's still nothing happening in this one. So I'm gonna give it a little more time. If nothing else, I guess I'll let these carrots grow out in it. But. Yeah, nothing so far. But these are just beautiful. Just nice and dark green. Healthy. Just really nice. So, now look at these flowers. And then this has buds on it. Little flower buds are there. These are lilies, tiger lilies, I think. I can't wait for them to bloom. They're, it's like that on this side, too. They have little buds. These you already saw in my opening intro, but in between here, I have a pineapple growing down in here. I don't know if you guys can see them. This is part of them right here. But anyways, I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut all the surrounding part out so that it will expose my pineapple there. But I'm happy because these did what they were supposed to do, which was insulate my pineapple plant over the winter. And keep it alive and it's alive still under there so I'm gonna expose it so that it can start spreading out and hopefully I'll get a fruit this season I noticed that on my dragon fruit that it's growing 
it's starting to grow on the tip so I'm happy about that it's a real deep dark green which means it is very healthy oh and I wanted to show you look at how those air roots are hugging on that corner of that wall it's kind of creepy <laughs> That's what the air roots look like, but they're holding it up, up, up against the wall like that. I just discovered that I'm most likely I'm going to need a second dragon fruit. So if this one does put on flowers, it might not produce fruit because um, it needs a second one to pollinate. The problem that I'm having is I don't know what kind of dragon fruit this is. I got this from a friend from a cutting, and the one she has never fruited, probably because it needed another dragon fruit. And um, so, <laughs> I don't know what kind this is, but I guess I'm going to try getting a couple of different more varieties of dragon fruit, and then that way, I guess that it will eliminate that problem. So if this does put on flowers... I'll get fruit. I noticed that some of my barrel cactus have these little nodules growing on them now. And I'm thinking those might be flower buds. I've never seen that like that before. But I'm thinking that's what that is. Even on this little tiny one down here. He has a little nodule right here. So I'm thinking that's what that is. And then my barrel ones over here, same thing. They have those little nodules. So I'm thinking that they're about to flower. Which is interesting because I'll be happy to see what that looks like. And then look at these. These are the aloe vera. Now I thought when this opened up, it was going to be flowers. And it might be. It just hasn't opened up all the way yet. That might be like little flower pods. I'm still watching and waiting. So let me just give you an overview of everything. I got all those weeds out. And I think the yard looks pretty good. <laughs> and I started working on, that's that pile right there. I started working on getting the weeds out of these beds right here. But as you can see, there's still a lot of weeds in these beds. So I'm going to end up taking these chard out because they are blocking some of the sprinklers um, because they're so tall now but I'm gonna take the chart out and then I'm gonna work on getting something else planted in here once I remove the rest of these weeds and now look at this daisy it's so pretty and I have more over here on this side too Look at those. I'm really enamored by all of my flowers this year. I have a lot of flowers. Just different flowers. Different areas that are just so pretty. And I'm loving it. I'm about to rip all this out too. These are the turnips. I never got to harvest the leaves on these, but look at this. These ones started, they died off because of the uh, aphids. Ate them up like crazy and killed them. This one, they managed to kill this one completely. But these, the bulbs were still good, just the leaves were bad. And now it's starting to grow new leaves. But I'm going to take these out. And then I have something already in mind that I'm going to plant here in its place. Just haven't gotten around to it because I've been so busy doing so many things. Look at these. So I've been trying to get things ready for a plant sale for the community garden. And a work day for the community garden and fundraising for the youth group at my church for camp and so i just haven't had a lot of time to do a whole lot of things that i wanted to do oh look at i'm gonna try not to scare them too much 
Look who's sunbathing back there. You see them? The lizards. They're back there just sunbathing, enjoying themselves. I've been trying to keep Sonny out of there because he keeps trying to get to them. Well, look. So, I planted a whole row of beans all the way down this bed to the end. And some of them, I poured sand over where I planted the seed just so that I could keep the roly-polies off of them so that they'd stand a chance to grow because I discovered that roly-polies don't like sand. They don't like to walk on sand. It's either that or the sand makes them stand out and the birds get to them. But So I'm conducting an experiment with it. And I have... Oh, there's one coming up right there. Um, but I have... I planted... Some of the beans that I planted are covered with the sand. And then some I left uncovered by the sand. No sand. So I can see if those sprout and grow as well as the ones that are covered by the sand. So, we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> but the beans are popping up. And I'm looking at the cilantro. It's doing good. And it has an iris growing in it. <laughs> that purple is so pretty. And there's another one that's starting right here. That oregano back there is doing good that I planted. It's doing real good. I almost need to do separate tours because in the backyard there's so much stuff going on. But all of my radishes here are going to seed. My Korean, my uh my Korean radishes, my daikon radish. It's because this gets so much sun right here that it's just too much. And so, yeah, it's all trying to go to seed already. But with this hailstone radish right here, it, that one is going to seed, but they do have bulbs on them, as you can see. So it's probably about time for me to harvest those. My neighbor gave me a flowering plant here and I stuck it in the ground, but it's in shock still from being transplanted. I wanted to show you guys this. So you remember I cleaned out this area right here and this wind broke this part of this branch here because this wouldn't even be right here right now but the wind broke it but I have it tied to the trellis well I have the radish staked so it's tied to the stake I had to do something because the wind is just crazy and look how tall this thing is now it reaches over my roof there So, this thing is huge. <laughs> but, look at all of this. I feel so accomplished right now that I got all those weeds out of here. It feels good. Every day I come out here and I'm looking at them weeds. And it just did not feel good. <laughs> but... All this stuff is growing and good. These broccolis. I'm about to take all of these out because I'm, I'm going to put in um, uh, squash. I think I'm going to put squash out here. We, I have a volunteer sunflower coming up. And then I have this, all these peas. My husband and I are standing out here eating some of these peas. And they're really sweet and they're good. But I've got all these peas growing right here. 
think my cabbages are starting to head up. I'm hopeful. I have been eating on these broccolis and cauliflowers, but just not fast enough. You guys saw that one there. But I'm gonna, I gotta figure out some other recipes to use these in. That's a purple one. That's a purple. You see that one? I harvested. I'm gonna take that plant out too. I only harvested half of this one. The amazing thing about these is that there's no aphids out of all the ones that I've harvested already. I've had no bugs on them. And I'm loving that I, that whole thing. Look at this guy. <laughs> and then here we have all of the lettuces. Oh, let me show you guys these strawberries. Look at this. Strawberries. Look at this strawberry over here. I'm kind of, my shadow's kind of blocking him, but he's pretty big. There. He's pretty big. I didn't want to pick him just yet until I showed him to you guys. Oh, look. I just noticed some over here. And there's some. Those are still green. But... And a lot of strawberries over here. Look at him. Just in the way. <laughs> and then I planted a whole bunch of melon seeds. And so the little seedlings are popping up now all over in this bed. Which is good because the melons, as they grow, they will help shade and protect my strawberries from the extreme heat and weather that we have up here. Look at that little bitty lettuce. It's cute. Look at this. Look at that color vibrance. You can really tell the difference when you open it up and you see the green against that rich red burgundy. It's pretty. I'm about to cut out the ranunculus they're they're about done and they're looking all dead look I almost stepped on him <laughs> they're looking all dead and spent so I'm gonna go on ahead and get those all cut out and removed look at that red lettuce the Sun is already scorching his lettuce heads I guess it's okay. I grew these lettuces for my tortoises. So I'm just going to have to start throwing them back there because the, it's just too much sun right now for it. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. Okay, so this redwood plant uh, tree that I bought, it died. It's completely dead up here. Right, and then I noticed that it had a side shoot at the bottom, and I was like, Well, maybe there's still some hope, even though the side shoot didn't have anything growing on it no leaves or anything. But look at that, that is my new tree right there. So I'm gonna cut this whole big part off and attach that smaller twig to the stake and let it grow out. Hopefully it'll continue to grow and do well. But I was so mad at myself that this tree died. And uh, I think I overwatered it because of the soil that I have out here is clay. And whenever this sprinklers water here, the water just puddles on top and collects and sits so I think I drowned it but it's given me a second chance so sometimes we can all use a second chance right <laughs> and I got my second chance so 
hopefully I'll do better by it. So I guess that's it for the front yard. I have some stuff to show you in the backyard. And so I'll take you out there right now so I can show that to you. So here's all of my plants that I still need to plant out in my beds. But I wanted to show you guys these apple blossoms. Can you see that? I mean, the wind is kicking them around, but look how pretty. They're white. My other ones on my other apple tree are pink. But these ones are white. Well, some of them are pink on this same one. Look, there's some pink up here. If the wind wasn't blowing it all over the place, you probably could see it a lot better. But, and I do have apples on this one already. Let's see. Let's see. I have apples already on this one, so that's good. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. But I, uh, I'm excited for these apples because I haven't tasted these yet. I'm trying to get to where you can to see how pretty they are. They're just gorgeous flowers. And they smell good too. So over here real quick, I just want to show you how everything is growing good. Growing big and healthy I planted some squash vining squash in here so that they can climb the trellises when I put the trellises back on and I also planted basil in here which smells really good and look at this tom this tomatillo is just growing crazy and I planted some melons in with it, and they're starting to pop up too. So I'm happy for that. And these, I planted some Elysium in here, which I was told will help out with keeping the hornworms away from my tomatoes. So I'm going to try it out and see. These tomato plants are getting so big that they're already falling over. So I need to hurry up and get them attached to these trellises up at the top here. I'll string them up. I need to get them up there. My other buddy is out here with me. I got a front yard buddy and a backyard buddy, I guess. <laughs> but all of these are doing good. I'll discuss with you what the squash are once they start coming up. I have everything written down on my cheat sheet. So, but I didn't want to discuss that with you just yet. When I do my separate tours and show, break down every part of my garden and what I'm growing, then we'll discuss all that stuff, which varieties and what why I'm growing, what I'm growing, and where I'm growing it, so. <laughs> but I don't want to do that just yet. Instead, I want to show you the progress that I'm making over here. So as you can see, I planted some nasturtium in here. Then I have my tomatoes planted in here as well. And I planted an assortment of other things in here that hasn't started coming up yet. But I planted corn all throughout this bed. Um, I planted some cucumbers along the sides here. Cucumbers and beans, whole beans, and gourds. So I can fill up this trellis. But that's all along here. And then I did the same identical thing, 
same items, just different varieties on this side in this bed. So that first bed has a different variety of corn. This one has another variety of corn in it. And then all my tomatoes and nasturtiums. There's different variety or different color of nasturtiums. Different cucumbers, beans, but it's all identical to the other one as far as what's planted in it. So, oh, and I planted melons on the end here. And those, hopefully, I will get those to grow up these um, little trellises here. Hopefully. <laughs> I left that sunflower here. And it's so big that he's like intertwining himself in the trellis. So we'll see how things go with him. And I left the other little sunflower there. Now I haven't put the soil in here yet, but I've cut down all the sunflowers. And I'm just going to leave them there in this bed. And I'm just going to add some chicken poop to this bed. And then uh, a topsoil. And then I'll get this bed planted out the way that I got the other ones planted. I need to get all these tomatoes picked up. And I'll give them to my chickens. Look at, there's a lion sitting in the tall grass over here. And he's just watching. And he's waiting to pounce. <laughs> He's so adorable. He's just a little fuzzy baby. Huh? <laughs> You're just such a sweetheart. Sometimes. Sometimes you are. He's always the one ambushing me. Tiger doesn't play with me like that. <laughs> but Sunny... Honey will ambush me. Every chance he get, he'll try and ambush me while I'm out here in the garden. Oh, that flower. He spent. I have a picture though. I'll show you the picture. I'll put the picture up so you can see it. This was a volunteer calendula. It was perfect and beautiful. In my pomegranate tree, I'm seeing some flower buds popping up now. There's a couple under here. Flower buds popping up. Hmm. I still haven't trimmed this tree back. I still haven't trimmed it, pruned it, or anything. I am so behind with that. Look, I barely got... I barely got my tomato row installed. And it's still not completely 100% finished. And I barely got these two beds done. <laughs> and so I'm just trying to get everything done little by little. So. I'll get it done. It'll get done. It's just going to take me a little time. That's all. Anyways. Um. I want to show you one last thing that I have to do. I need to get these garlic planted. I have not gotten them planted. I went through all the trouble of getting them rooted and I never did plant them. They made it into the bed where they're going to be planted, but they never got planted. So I need to plant these. I'm going to get these planted and um, get them finished off so that you can see that I did it let you guys hold me accountable to it because I keep coming out here and walking by here saying oh I gotta plant those oh I gotta plant those and I don't ever plant them so you guys can hold me accountable I'll show you the planted ones at the end of this video when I'm finished but while I work on this I'll show you video clips of when I started these um, when I started to root these out, so let me get this done.
so you guys see I did it. I told myself I had to make sure that I got it done so I could show you. Um, I planted a couple of peppers in here, garlic is in here, eggplant, some celery, and a couple of tomatoes in the back here. So this one is planted. Now hopefully the Hopefully the garlic will survive. That's what I'm most worried about. The tomatoes, the eggplant, the peppers, and the celery. I know are healthy. The garlic is lacking. So I'm hoping they all survive. But I did it. <laughs> and then also, I finished this bit. So all I did was chop and drop a whole bunch of stuff in there add some chicken poop which you can see the remnants of right here and topped it with some topsoil some potting soil so this one will be ready for me to plant um, in the next couple of days I know this is a long video but I hope you enjoyed the flowers all the pretty flowers that I have growing and seeing all the progress that I'm making in this garden. It's slow and go, but it's going. So I appreciate you watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, God bless.